Good morning, brothers and sisters. God is good all the time. Yes, indeed. The theme running through all the readings for this weekend is that our God is a good, loving, and merciful God. The Gospel reading shows us that Jesus came on earth to seek and to save the lost. This was his mission while he was here on earth. And this is the same mission which he passed on to his disciples and ultimately to us as his followers. One of the first things that came to my mind as I read this scripture passage was how come Jesus knew Zacchaeus' name and he never met him before. Have you ever noticed that no matter how often you read a certain scripture passage, you seem to find something new and different in it every time? Well, my answer to the question I asked myself was that Jesus sees all and knows all. This was brought home to me most vividly on a retreat the deacon candidates had last weekend when we were asked to reflect on Psalm 139. The Psalm says, Lord, you know me. Even before a word is on my tongue, you know it all. You formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. In the first reading from the Book of Wisdom, the scripture says that our God directs our steps in our everyday efforts. We have no need to be afraid because he is directing our every move. It also states, may the changing moods of our human hearts and the limits which our failings impose never blind us from God, who is the source of every good. It also states, faith gives us the promise of peace. Today's Psalm said, he is slow to anger and compassionate towards all that he has made. Our Lord is faithful in all his words and loving in all his deeds. The Lord is always ready to make room for us, but do we make room for him in our hearts? In the gospel reading, Zacchaeus was a tax collector, as well as someone who cheated the taxpayers by collecting more than he should. However, Jesus is gentle, merciful, and loving. He looks beyond our outward appearance, unlike the crowd who had gathered and were following him. Jesus rises above the superficial. He looks within our hearts. Zacchaeus made room for Jesus. Let us now look at some of the ways that we too can emulate Zacchaeus. First, we saw Zacchaeus made every effort to see the face of Jesus, despite the large throng of followers. He heard so much about this Jesus and wanted to see him, and it didn't help that he was a short person in stature. But he was full of zeal and very ingenious, he found a tree and climbed it so that he would be able to see Jesus. I have no doubt that if he had to climb a wall or even crawl through the legs of the crowd, that he would do so. How about that? He made every effort to make sure he would see Jesus that day. There was a call that he received that he must see Jesus and he did everything in his power to ensure that it happened. Have we personally received such a call ourselves? Have we been too busy speaking to the Lord and not listening that we were unable to hear the call? Whenever we pray, we should find time to be silent 
and listen so that we can hear the Lord speaking to us. This form of praying in silence was reinforced to me last weekend. We need to pray in silence sometimes so that we can hear the Lord speaking to us. Another way Zacchaeus made room for Jesus was that he was willing to offer something in return for the wrongs he had committed. He repented, vowing to pay restitution to those he had cheated, as well as to give half his money to the poor. Isn't that an amazing act by Zacchaeus? This also showed his humility. Whenever we seek the Lord, we must do so with humility. So brothers and sisters, what is this week's message to us? We are asked to seek Jesus daily with repentant hearts if we want to receive salvation. Jesus wants us to come to him. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be opened. He is a God of mercy. We are now coming to an end of the year of mercy proclaimed by Pope Francis. The doors of the church are open, so come in, all those who are weary and still seeking. Find the time to come to the church. Sit in front of the Blessed Sacrament or visit the chapel and spend some quiet time with the Lord. Praying in silence and also listening in silence for his call. Pray continually that our Lord will make us worthy of his call and by his power fulfill all our desires for goodness and complete all that we have been doing through faith. Because in this way, the name of our Lord Jesus Christ will be glorified in us and us in him. By the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus lives within us and every day of our lives we need to live as Jesus would and be examples to those around us who have not yet answered the call. May our good and loving God continue to show us his grace and mercy as we strive to live our lives giving glory to him. Thanks be to God. <clears throat>